here we go. Welcome everyone. Um, we are gonna give a few minutes. We have had a number of people RSVP today, so I would like to give them a few minutes. But if you are here to learn more about the Staff Employee Association, also known as SEA Board, then you are in the right place. Um, so we will give it just a few minutes. Oh, I love it. Give a little, I feel like we need a whoop sign or something that we can shake in the background. That would be fantastic. Next time, y'all, I'm going to start delegating in our next meeting. Somebody is making a whoop sign. It'll be great. And I feel like while we let people in, we can keep talking and visiting. Otherwise, it will just be a bunch of sad, dead space. So you can insult my wintry background. That's fully acceptable. You can put a thumbs down if you think she should change it to a more spring appropriate one. Okay, so for Easter, a friend of mine randomly showed up at my door knocked on it. It's it's Easter evening at 10 p.m. She's like, are you home? Can I come? Yeah, sure. She knocks on my door. I open the door. She's wearing ears, carrying an Easter basket, and goes, happy Easter, and the ears jump up because they're cool pump ears that could do that. Um, so, of course, you wear them to the office, right? Um, and I was informed that we are now two months beyond, two weeks beyond Easter. My answer was it was still snowing outside, so it was fine. Uh, so perhaps really the answer is either more Easter ears or less. I have not yet decided. Okay, we'll just give it probably another minute or two, and then we will get started. Does it all feel more or less awkward for people to come in late on Zoom than in a room full of people? Curious. I, I felt I still more think awkward less awkward. awkward. Less awkward in which one? For for Zoom. Okay. Because I'm the only one awkwardly staring at the screen watching people come in. What about you, Levi? I I have it on gallery view so I can see as they pop in. <laughs> yeah, that's kind I, of my right I, I would always have the uh, unfortunate uh, problem of having three Zoom calls at the same time and uh, forgetting to uh, mute one Zoom call while I was talking on another, so. <laughs> I, I feel like we need to talk about like multitasking and how they've done studies about that it doesn't work, but that's just too epic to try and like discourage that in any way, shape or form. Okay, we will get started. Um, I do want to value everyone's time so that we can best utilize our hump day, Wednesday afternoon hour. Um, we will start by just introducing everyone on the board and then uh, go open it up to questions from those of you who have come. Uh, thank you so much for being here and for joining our rather, uh, I guess I can't say rambunctious, uh, but exciting group of SEA board members. Um, I will get started. So my name is Allison Fabricius. I am the current president-elect on the Staff Association Board. Um, I will be moving into president come July, which means that we have a very delightful opening for president-elect that I know you all want to take. Um, I also am gonna pause for just a moment and explain how, the, um, how it works. So for every position on the board, you have a senior and a junior position. 
Um, there are two exceptions to this. The president position has a president-elect, a president, and then a past president position, and then the benefits and staff welfare committee have an incoming, a junior, and a senior. Um, that's because we want to give individuals plenty of time to learn sort of the ropes of the different committees. Different committees are over different things. They are in different systems. We will be talking about that a little bit today. Um, and so different positions will give you that opportunity to learn it before we ask you to master it and teach it to the next person. Um, so with that being said, I will pass off to the next person, uh, which is the treasurer. So for those following on our org chart, we're going to go down and then over. So like it'll be president, it'll be treasurer, then it'll go over to secretary, so on and so forth. Okay, I will hand it over to you, Levi. Thank you. So yes, my name is Levi Lecky. I am the current junior treasurer. So next year, I'll be the senior. Um, and I currently work in the provost office as a business manager. And so the treasurer portion is really just about helping with budgets and reconciling. We have a few indexes tied specifically to SEA. And each committee sort of provides a budget for the activities throughout the year. And it's sort of our job to make sure that we have the money to do that. And that we're spending things appropriately and following all the rules and all that kind of stuff which ties very well into my actual job. So I like it a lot and it's fun to be a part of the SCA and sort of see the kind of the behind the scenes of some of the stuff that happens campus wide and to get to work with people from all across campus and statewide as well. Thank you, Levi. Okay, we'll pass it off to secretary. Patty, do you want me to go ahead? Okay, so you'll notice on this uh, Zoom meeting that we have both Patty and myself identified as SEA secretary. Uh, Patty is our, our senior secretary and I'm the junior secretary this year, uh, which means I was elected last year and this coming year I'll be the senior. But uh, the role of the secretary is primarily to support uh, Allison or Brandon, the president of SEA, and uh, the other members of the uh, SCA committee. Um, all, whatever we can do to help out, everything from preparing agendas to uh, communications, uh, we just do our best to try to support and help uh, the SCA committee as a whole. And what do you enjoy about being a secretary, Ray? <laughs> oh, oh, I guess that's an important part, isn't it? <laughs> you know, um, Making the decision to to help out with the SEA and become a part of this, uh, you know, I had to really think through it because I, I recognized that we're all busy and, and I'm very busy in my role. But what I really appreciate about being part of the SEA is I really believe that we can make a difference in representing the needs of staff uh, and trying to advocate for the staff to administration and others at the university. And uh, even in the short time that I've been in the SEA, I, SEA I've seen that. And so I, I am grateful for that. I, I enjoy that aspect of this role. And I also enjoy, you know, the camaraderie with this group in, in, the, in the committee. There's a lot of good people here who have a lot of um, hopes and wishes and desires to help the university uh, family, not just the Logan campus, but the entire uh, university uh, system. And uh, that's that's really neat. And to learn with each member of the committee and, and to learn about, uh, you know, their perspectives, their ideas, it, it helps me even in my day-to-day uh, -day tasks. Uh, and, and so those are the things that I enjoy about being in the SEA committee. Thank you, Ray. Uh, we will try, I will hand it off to media and public relations. Thank you. Okay. I... I am meeting public relations senior, so I'm stepping off and we're going to get some new blood to come in. We're super excited. My favorite part about what we do is frankly, it's getting to know all the stuff and making sure everybody else can also know all the stuff. So I wanted to know when their activities were happening. And so I got to find that out and then share it. 
And so it's super fun to feel like you can actually make a difference to let people know of really great opportunities, whether it's professional development workshop or an upcoming really cool activity or just neat things that are happening. You know, it can go from, you know, getting a survey out in an email saying, hey, we need to know how you want to spend you know, how you want to receive the uh, allocation from the state legislature to putting together an article about how they decided, because we had a lot of people ask questions about that, for example. Why aren't we getting the full percentage that the state is saying? Well, there's some explanation behind how the state handles higher education versus, you know, other state employees. So it was fun to learn that and then share that information. So if you really, really love to know stuff, and make it available for other people to also know really cool stuff and do really cool things, this is the job for you. So much, yes. Thank you, Julie. Uh, we will turn it, uh, I'll hand it off to benefits and staff welfare. Okay, my name is Amber Summers Graham and I'm the senior member of the benefits and staff welfare subcommittee of the SEA. And our subcommittee works with closely with HR um, to learn about the benefits that we have. And so if there is a request for proposal for a benefit for insurance or life insurance or something like that, a member of the SCA subcommittee, our subcommittee will work with HR on participating in that. And we also advocate for um, other staff members, for example, if you if you find that a benefit that USU offers isn't meeting your needs and you want to have a voice, you know, our, we'll we'll take that up the chain, so to speak, and connect connect with people that can make that change. And we also do um, gather information about how um, our fellow employees feel about our benefits and what sorts of benefits. Um, would help to retain or recruit employees. So, so we're doing a little bit of that work alongside with our, um, our other subcommittees that we may overlap with. Um, there's two things that I really like about SEA, if that's okay. <laughs> so the first one is echoing a lot of what everyone else has already said. This is a wonderful group of people. We have a great camaraderie. It's great to have connections with other people around campus. It helps me in my job because I know who's out there and who to call, but and then it's also nice to have friends on campus. And we're doing a lot of really fun things and feeling like we can make a difference. The second thing I really like about it is I'm a nosy person by nature. <laughs> And I like to know stuff, sort of like Julia was saying. So it was kind of cool because in this position, you get the opportunity to meet with the president and hear about what's going to happen with legislative funding and legislative outcomes for the whole year. We get the opportunities of hearing directly from HR and from Doug Bullock. And so I get to learn a lot about how the university works. And and that's, just, that's enjoyable to me. I like to know how how things work and how how I fit in, how my particular cog fits into the whole university structure. So that's that's why I like. Thank you, Amber. That that I think was the best summary of also why I love SEA because as uh as Ray said, if you have FOMO, uh fear of missing out on university matters, uh we are the place to be because we are talking about the newest of new things um, to then send it out. So absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Amber. Um, now over to employee development. And now I have to follow that. <laughs> uh, my name's Tim Olson. I am the, the junior member of the employee development committee. So I will be, uh, if you are interested in serving on that, you'll, you'll be working with me next year. Um, what the employee development committee does it has kind of shifted a little bit um, from when I ran to, to what has been this past year, but we uh, we really focus on providing, uh, you know, learning and development opportunities for staff here at Utah State, um, whether that be uh, having someone come in and talk about mental health or, um, you know, how to, to grow your personal brand on social media and market yourself better for job opportunities. Or, um, you know, we, we did some surveys last year and we'll probably do some surveys again um, to send out to staff and find out what they want to learn about. And that's where we got a lot of our ideas from this past year. And so it's really just uh, finding out what staff, uh, you know, how they want to, to self-improve and, 
and making connections throughout the university. We have a, a lot of knowledgeable and talented people here at Utah State. And so tapping into that and using those resources to help um, you know, develop our peers on campus. Uh, and why I love serving on the SEA um, is, uh, again, kind of echoing what others have said. It's just, uh, as you all know, I'm sure, um, the university kind of lends itself to often being siloed a little bit. Uh, and so it's a, a great way to break out of those silos and get to know uh, people from across campus, work together to accomplish things that, that really benefit you know, the university and staff as a whole and uh, and build friendships as well. So that's what I enjoy. Thank you, Tim. Awesome. Um, we'll now turn it over to employee recognition. Awesome. My name is Benjamin McCulloch and I uh, I actually work at uh, with uh, Venue Operations. And uh, one of the things we do with employee recognition is we do exactly that. We recognize employees. Um, in uh, the newsletter you get each month, you'll recognize that uh, we have an employee of the month. And uh, this year, hopefully, you all have voted for the employee of the year. Um, but uh, that is what we get to do. And um, I think it is one of the funnest things that we get to do is um, go through and uh, award the employee of the month. It's also um, can be difficult sometimes because we get to go through all the nomination letters and um, decide which one it is that gets the uh, gets to be the uh, employee of the month. And sometimes that can be a, a very hard choice. Um, I I have loved um, I'm I'm the uh, employee recognition um, junior, and so I get to stay on another year. And I'm very excited because everything I've learned on campus from the uh, the pay raises to uh, just the different events going on. I've learned so much more about what's going on in, in campus instead of in my little world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, next, we'll move to employee connections. Hi, I am Ellen and I am the junior member of the employee connections committee. Um, our committee has gone through a little bit of a adjustment, a change <laughs> over the past year. So we're still trying to sort out exactly what we do, but lately we have started doing um, a spotlight of uh, a team or a department across any of our campuses so that we can all start to get to know each other a little bit better and understand what different areas of the university does. Um, and I'm just going to echo pretty much what everybody else said. That's one of the things I love about my committee and the board is how much we can learn, whether it's how USU works or learn about each other. That's It's been a lot of fun. It kind of sounds like we're all uh, context people. If you've ever done like the strengths finder thing, context is one of them. And I'm catching a whole lot of context vibes, which I absolutely love. Um, next up is scholarship. Hi, my name is Sue Rasmussen. I actually do work in the scholarship office here at Utah State. So this is a really good fit for me. Um, I love, as part of being on the SEA board, like everyone else says, how wonderful it is to know what's happening as it's happening and to be able to put in my two cents worth of, okay, well, what about this aspect? Have you thought about this? But hearing everybody else's thoughts is very um, enlightening. So I'm appreciative of that as part of the SEA board and people I work with are awesome. So um, the, the thing that I love most about my position as the scholarship committee senior member, um, this will be my third year on the committee. So, <laughs> um, I, what I love most with this, I get to, um, award two different awards. One of them is professional development for people, employees here at Utah state, maybe going to a, a conference or something. So we're able to help pay for that um, registration fee. And the other thing I do is um, award a scholarship to employees who are also students. And what I love both best about my job in the scholarship office, but as the scholarship committee person is giving that hope to someone being able to say, we value your direction and we wanna help you complete that. So that's what I love most about the scholarship committee. 
Thank you, Sue. Um, I love how each one of these committees has something different to offer, um, whether it is recognition, whether it is a, an actual tangible fiscal here um, or connection. There, there's a variety of ways that these committees are all helping state, like Utah State University statewide, um, come more as a university together and to work together, which is, I, I absolutely love. Um, we do have a couple other members of our board, a couple other committees that were not able to be represented today. One of them is the legislature, leg not legislative, it used to be, and I told myself, it's different. It is research and analysis. Um, they used to be the legislative committee, um, and so they would go and work with the legislative representative for the for Utah State. Thank you, Julie, for saving me from myself. Uh, research and evaluation. Um, but as sort of the laws around the legislature have changed, we wanted to better meet the needs of our staff and better meet the needs of the board um, by by having a better finger on the pulse of what's happening with our staff. Um, and so just as of this last few months, we have changed this committee to research and evaluation. So they are over um, helping us with those surveys that different committees have talked about. Um, we're also hoping to expand out into focus groups um, and collecting data so that when administrative ad administration comes to us, we have information readily available to hand instead of having to go figure it out post. Um, so I'm very excited for this committee. Um, even if you aren't, even if like stats aren't your whole world or even part of your world, you just love asking questions, uh, please come, come join us um, and come help. The next one is statewide campus and extension. And that you do not have to be at a statewide uh, or in an extension office to join, but that committee is for the purpose of helping statewide um, campuses better connect um, and to be part of our group. So an understanding or a foot in that world is wonderful, but if you just have passion, absolutely love that too. The final member of the board um, is USU Eastern Chapter. Now, unless you were, so USU Eastern runs its own elections because they are their own chapter, but they are then they do then have a representative on the board. So they are a part of the board, um, even if you are from, a, so if you are from a different campus, you cannot run for that position, but you can run for the other positions and then get to know them and get to know all of us. Um, I realized as we got going that I actually was calling out Le uh, Levi and Ray for not saying what they cared about and I didn't do it either. So um, <laughs> aside from the fact that I'm big into context and I'm really a spy that just wants to know all the things all the time. Um, another piece that really caught my attention when I first looked is that the president position actually meets with board of regents. They meet with the executive uh, team of the university and they are in those conversations. And I see, I, I feel like Aaron Burr a lot because I want to be in the room where it happens. So to the extent that we are all in the room where it's happening, as it's happening, um, I, I wanted to hear what was going on. I wanted to be part of those conversations. Um, and a lot of times staff are like, well, why does what we say matter? Well, like, how do we even have a foot in the door? This board is an ability to have discussions, to cast a vote for those that you represent that is then taken to the president of the university. Um, we did meet with her about wages and our discussions with her um, in conjunction with the discussions the faculty senate were having did change her mind about where she ultimately landed on wages. So if we, if you ever wonder, or if the people in your offices ever wonder, does what SEA do matter? Yes. And we are on a course to be at the table and to be ready to be at the table to represent staff. So if that is of any, so if your interest spans from like Aaron Burr, you wanna be in the room where it's happening, or if it's spanning to, you wanna get to know all of the people and you wanna be where the people are, we just spanned Hamilton to Little Mermaid people. We are doing awesome today. So whatever your interest is, come join us. Um, we would We would really love 
to have you join our team. Um, so we are going to give you time. I could talk at you for forever because I absolutely love the staff association, but this also is for you. So please ask questions. Maybe you came in with an idea of one thing you wanted to do, and now you want to do something completely different. We're a canvas. Ask us your questions. How can we help you better understand what it is that you could take part in doing? Julie, I saw you go off mute. Yeah, I wanted to just add one thing, and it kind of, it's been alluded to elsewhere in the discussion, but if you're wondering if this is a benefit to your day job, you know, if, if you can, if you're going to be actually be able to like enhance your day job skills or utilize your day job skills as part of this volunteer organization, the answer is a hard and fast yes. You will make connections across campus and be aware of things that you'll be surprised at how they make your life easier in your day job. Um, things that you become aware of, resources that you suddenly know about um, that you didn't wouldn't have known before or people that can get you an answer to a question. It's a surprising amount of times where you're like, wow, I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't been part of, of that and an active, active member. Thank you, Julie. That is so true. Uh, the more you connect with people, the better your job here gets because of the resources, the relationship and the understanding you have. So true. Okay, Nathan, I see that you have a question. Thank you, Patty, for pointing that one out in the chat. Really quick. Um, I'm here. I've been on it before with some of you. I see some happy faces. Um, your the, the research and evaluation is what piques my interest to scale around. And uh, I think that your junior member has left the university. So I was just kind of curious what your plans were there. Is it going to be a two person or Matthew sticking around? We are looking at feeling both filling both the junior and senior position. Um, to my understanding, please those who understand the bylaws better correct me. But the the one with the most, so the person receiving the most votes would become senior. They would serve for a year. Those with the runner up votes would be junior. Okay, Julie, please fix it. Okay. Okay, no. Um, the person who's senior gets to choose. Oh, the, okay, that's what take. it is. Okay. And then the the other person becomes whichever one. So the 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 top vote getter of the two top vote getters, the one who has the most gets to choose which of those positions they take, junior or senior, and then they cycle off according to that decision. So. Awesome. Thank you, and thank you for everything you've all done the last two or three or a year. <laughs> I have a question. Go ahead, Carrie. Um, so um, Carrie with King College of the Arts, and I, I am interested in the um, treasurer position. Based on my experience here at the university, it seems to be a natural fit. But I, I'm interested in knowing time commitment. Um, of you know, I, we're busy, and uh, but I but I'm also very interested in serving and giving back to the university who has provided me such a great opportunity for professional and personal development. So that's kind of what I'm interested in. And I also want to know that um, I've looked up the application and you, the picture that you use, because I've voted before, the picture that you use won't come from our USU ID card because mine was taken back when I started in the LTAP days. Um, so it's quite significantly old. <laughs> Do I get a choice? <laughs> I will talk with you on the picture. I will hand it to Levi for the qu other question. Yeah, so the time commitment, as far as the treasurer specifically, so we all have, uh, like, so the executive board has a meeting every month, and then the whole board also has a meeting every month. So that's about two hours right there. But treasurer specific, um, we do have a small budget that we reconcile every month. Also, when they do the uh, Employee of the Month awards, we process those. So beyond the meetings themselves, it's maybe a couple hours a month. It's not a huge time commitment, or if anyone has like a budget specific question. Um, but since I reconcile budgets for my existing job, it's just one little extra that gets added on when I do that process. So it doesn't feel like a bunch of extra work. And it's exciting to see, you know, what we're doing and be part of all of that and 
you know, it's outside of my normal job, but it's, it impacts everyone. So it's like, it's fun to see who the employees of the month are. And it's, you know, everyone, it's fun to be able to have the knowledge to answer those questions and look at the budget outside of your normal job, so. Thank you. I will add, um, it is a little bit all hands on deck when we do activities, but that is still <laughs> as, as, so my position changed a little bit too. After, after elections were over, I found out that I was over activities, which has been a blast and has been a learning curve. And I have leaned on the people in this Zoom room so much. Thank you all so much. Um, but that still only equates to an hour or two on the few months that we do do those larger wide activities. Um, so pretty much what Levi said. Um, also, I will point out what Julie dropped in chat. If you would like to update your ID photo, the link is in the chat. Please feel free <laughs> to. Actually, I kind of want to click on it I too. I feel the same, Carrie. I mean, 2009 was a great year for me. It's been a hot minute. <laughs> Oh, maybe it's time. That also was like my college picture that because I never left, they just kept it for forever. And I see it and I'm like, oh. But so thank you, Julie. Uh, any other questions? I'm Kaylee Riggs. I'm with the Hudson School of Business. I'm an academic advisor for marketing students. Um, I love the thought of being involved in the SEA. I've kind of looked through the different positions, the different committees, time comp, the time responsibilities, or um, what's all required for each of the different committees. I love the thought of being an advocate for staff, also the networking opportunities. I'm also, I love to learn. I love to be in the know as well too. So I'm, I'm really excited and, and hopeful for the opportunity. I did submit an, an application for one specific committee um, for the employee recognition com committee, but I'm also open to other committees as well, too. I think that would be my top choice. I'm wondering, how does that work as far as elections go? Is the election just for a specific spot? And then if there's other spots that need to be filled, would I be considered for one of those potentially? Julie, That's I'm going to really hand that off question. to you. <laughs> That's a really good question. Um, at this point, I think as a committee, we would file that information away, um, kind of play, see how the results come out. I, and as you all know from the email, I'm sure you read with rapt attention yesterday and the follow-up correction email that also had to be sent. Um, I'm sure that you all read actively knowing that no, we had, we had nobody who had signed up yet. Now that has changed. So a few people felt guilty enough and were willing to take a risk and actually put their names in the ring. But now that you are all in the know, now you will make an informed decision about which one. So Kaylee, thank you for you know putting your name in the ring. Um, knowing that you would be interested, there may be, if we don't have people decide to show up, we're going to have to fall back and punt with that one. And appointments may end up being the way we have to go. So knowing that, okay, so maybe you put your name in, maybe 10 other people, but decide employee recognition is where I want to be, but you don't end up being the top vote getter or whatever. And knowing that you would be willing to serve other elsewhere is also helpful to know. So is there a plan? Not a formal plan. We, we may have to have one that comes on the fly. And actually your question is really helpful to think about what that would look like. So thank you, Kaylee. You're welcome. And Julie, I actually emailed you a while ago because I know that the link wasn't working and, and you fixed that. It was not. I actually applied for, submitted my what nomination, I guess you could say, um, maybe a couple of weeks ago. And I know in that email yesterday, you said that no one had applied. So I'm a little bit concerned that mine wasn't properly submitted. I'll confirm that for you and we'll get back to you on that. Perfect. Thank you. Whose idea was it to have the elections in the busiest time of the year? Actually, I actually I can't I can't call that one because I'm just following bylaws. So whoever put the bylaws together, we should talk. We need to like do it like the week after we get back from Christmas. I don't know. <laughs> when everybody's feeling generous and things are a little bit slower. 
In the cold, cold months of ja- in January yeah, when they're all bored, bored and want something to do. Can I throw in another piece of information you might find interesting to this group? Um, we're actually part of a greater state organization called the Utah Higher Ed Staff Association. Um, Allison's been very active in that group. Um, I've had a chance to serve in, in on that board as well. And it's been a great opportunity to connect. I mean, we've talked about the connections here within campus, super valuable, but we are also connecting to others outside of Utah State who are in the similar roles to what we do. And so just kind of to let you know, some of that connection really does bleed out beyond our own borders and can be very beneficial for finding a solution to a problem that we have, we are facing. So just, just be aware of that as well. And it is, um, it is, so I, my very first thing as president elect was Julie reaching out saying, Hey, we have this conference. Do you want to go? And I was like, sure, we're going to the mountains. It'll be great. Um, I had no idea who was there. I didn't even know what UHESA really was, but stepping in to that meeting that first day and hearing people talk about the same things that I was worried about and concerned about and that I was seeing was really powerful because you have some people who are in it at the very beginning of the trenches going, hmm, we have this thing. What are we going to do to having people coming out on the other side of it? going, this is what we did and this worked. And so do you want to consider and and looking at gathering data across the entire state to then bring to our reps, to then bring to the state legislator, legislature. So it's it has been a really awesome process just to see and to realize that some of what we're facing, it's a statewide thing. So like childcare was one of the things that we talked about last month And we're getting a game plan together and I'm excited to see kind of what we come up with Um, or how is staff being represented across the state. There's as many different ways to do that as there are universities. Um, And so if you are interested in sort of the statewide conversations, there's some really cool things happening there too. Thank you for throwing that into the mix, Julie. Any other questions? Because I know you all have burning questions. You're just waiting to put your hand into the air. Oh, Marissa, I knew it. I don't know if I have any questions at this current moment, but this has been really helpful just to hear the different um, aspects of different roles. I guess actually, okay, I do have one question for you uh, now that you mention it. Um, so I don't have a ton of experience. I've only been with UCU since 2020. And so I'm curious, I'm looking at the statewide role. Um, I do work um, for USU statewide. And so I'm curious about that. Um, can you just remind me where the specific requirements for each of these roles are. I, I maybe I've found the page here actually. Let's see. The um, get involved page. If so, if you go to the website, go under about and get involved, it'll talk about Perfect. some of those okay. things as well as kind of some time commitments. Great. Um, anyone who's passionate about representing statewide voices is more than welcome. They have been absolutely rock stars in helping us kind of remember that we are not a Logan only campus. Um, And yes, the vast majority of our faculty and staff are located in Logan, but we take great pride as being as Aggies as being for being a statewide system and and their voice has been absolutely tremendous. So keep going, put your name in. (laughs) Thank you. Um, And it also is just fantastic as, so as trying to step into party planning, which is not the only thing we do. We do the wide variety of things we've talked about today. Um, Appreciation is a piece of that though, because we do want our staff to feel seen. Um, Has been eye-opening for me, realizing not everybody is like Logan. Even other main campuses have have their things that are their things. Um, I went down and visited Eastern for their mini conference this year. That was amazing. I loved seeing what they're doing. seeing how they're doing it, how they're making connections across campus. So if if that's something that interests you, please go for it. Um, Thank you to Patty and Ray for dropping links in the chat. So if you do want to see more of this stuff, they've dropped them there for you. Um, Other questions. And thank you, Stephen, for joining us. He is working with Amber um, on the Benefits and Welfare Committee. So if you have any specific questions that way, you have two people that can give you answers. 
I have another question for you. I know that you had mentioned, even if you're on a particular committee, that you would be involved in activities. I'm assuming, like, of course, the FDA luncheon and whatnot coming up. Um, what other activities would you be involved in? I'm so glad you asked. Um, <laughs> so the gratitude gathering is the activity that we do in the fall. Uh, so that generally happens in November. Um, and because I'm a tornado, we are changing everything next year. And I'm so excited. Um, we're actually going to be shifting away from the luncheon that we've been doing. And we want to work with USU Eastern and have it actually be a mini conference. So they have been doing this mini comp professional development conference on spring break for a number of years. They've had great success. And they have asked for our support to make it more of a statewide endeavor. So this coming year, we are, so come March, we are going to actually team up with them and they're going to Zoom some uh, webinars. We're going to Zoom some webinars. We're going to provide some meals. Um, so wherever you are in the state, you can be taking part in this professional development that we're doing. Um, so I'm, I'm so psyched. I have so many details to iron out. Uh, which actually would be the president elect. I will be working with them. Um, so if you're excited about that, um, but we also are going to be doing a summer event um, to just kind of keep, to help staff know that we are aware of them year round. Um, and so you look at the November gratitude gathering, you are looking at the March conference that we'll be putting together and then a summer activity that is to be determined because May is next month and there is stuff we are figuring out for that activity in May. Um, we are also partnering with uh, HR this year. They are doing an employee appreciation day for all faculty and staff. So they're doing it for all employees of the university September 15th. So we are gonna be partnering with them to kind of come up with some activities and see how we can best support them. So there is a wide variety of ways, even though that isn't the thing we do, uh, helping spread awareness of what we do is still a big deal. So those are some ways that, and activities that you can participate. That's fantastic. That actually makes me really excited. I, I used to admit for statewide campus long, long, long time ago in the admissions office, I also am the statewide campus liaison for the Huntsman School of Business with our academic advisors. So even though I didn't throw my hat in for that, and it sounds like Marissa, if she wanted to do that, would be fantastic in that role. I'm really glad to see that we're, we're bringing to USU Houston as well. That's fantastic. So as far as that conference goes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, fantastic question. So uh, Allison, if, if it's okay, I'd like to chime in just real quick. If you have FOMU, um, that's the actual pronunciation of it, Allison, FOMU, um, uh, but you're also shy in Zoom meetings and you have questions uh, that have not been answered today, please reach out to one of us. Uh, last year, uh, as I was making the decision if I wanted to run for election, I reached out to a couple of members of the SEA and I learned a lot. And I really appreciated their their input, their honesty, and uh, it helped me make that decision. So I want to offer that, and I believe that uh, anybody on the committee would be willing to answer your questions one-on-one uh, -on -one if you have them. Our contact information is on the SEA website. You can also reach out to us uh, during this Zoom meeting through chat. But uh, please, if you have questions, make sure you get answers for them. Uh, don't walk away without that knowledge that you desire. Thank you, Ray. So true. If you dropped any one of us an email or a Slack or anything, we'll be reaching out and, and we will be sharing our SEA Kool-Aid because it's fantastic Kool-Aid. I should not reference that. That is not a reference that I should use. <laughs> yeah, stick to the books and the movies, Julie. I'm sorry. <laughs> Allison. I should not go for cult reality. Stick with cult <laughs> fiction. Hey, Julie, I might be interested in media and public relations. Aggie ice cream, I'd go for that anytime. <laughs> oh, sadly, I don't you think can. that you off the secretary hook. You can only serve one at a time. But if anybody else in this space, um, I will give you another two minute, uh, another minute or two to think about it. Uh, but we also do value your time. So 
I, I, I do want to give you whatever time back that you, that you would like, but I'm going to make y'all cold sweat for like two more minutes because that's when my hand finally goes in the air and I'm finally like, okay, I'll ask my question because it's the last minute. I would also like to throw it out though to the rest of the board. Is there anything else that you have thought of if we, as we've been talking that you're just like, I need to say this, I need to share this, posterity must know. I think one thing, I mean, Julie kind of hit on it a little bit with this year with um, the salary allocations and learning how that functions at the state level, at the university level. You know, we did the survey for all the staff and we got a lot of responses and a lot of comments and seeing those was very enlightening. You know, we all sort of had similar feelings and it, we weren't necessarily surprised, but some of it, I mean, people had a lot to say and a lot of people had a lot of the same thing to say. So that was, I think, one of the things where I felt that we had a big, one of the biggest impacts on all of the staff was meeting with the president, providing that direct feedback, having meetings amongst ourselves and having that discussion about, this is what the staff is saying, we're here to represent the staff, how do we best convey this to those that make the decision? And I, I really liked being a part of that. And it was a really big learning opportunity to to really get down into the nitty gritty of like, what does flex mean? What does across the board mean? What implications are there that maybe we haven't thought about? Um, and how do we want to share all of that based on the feedback we have? That That I think was a really key conversation for each one of us this year to as representatives going, how best do we give a voice? Ooh, Ray. Also, so Ray just dropped in chat. Our monthly SCA meetings are held in one of the fanciest spaces on Loken campus. Sorry, I didn't mean to say it that way, but it is Champ Hall and it is really cool. There is a gnat flying around my face. I live in terror. It is about to fly up in my nose. So I apologize for waving. <laughs> I'm just living so scared. Um, so we do meet in Champ Hall. Uh, we are like literally between the provost's office and the president's office, uh, which is a rather fantastic room to be in where it happens i will give a plug that it is a very cool space just because i happen to work in the room <laughs> but the president was just standing right here just a second ago like i was looking at her so hey any any other questions any more just like hmm um love to give time and space for that i, I feel like i'm taking up a lot of space right here but Last question, and I'm sure I could find this. I'm actually looking on the website, I can't find it, but when is the actual election? May. So we will be doing, so it, well, May 10th-ish is where we're looking now. Um, so May 10th to May 31st um, is where we've moved it to. We are hoping to connect the activities we're doing to voting. So everybody gets an extra opportunity to win a prize if they vote in the elections um, and support our next group of nominees. That's great, thank you. That just so, makes me think I need to update my photo really quick. <laughs> we're, we're, we're all watching. I'm ready to like be like, hmm, how old is that one? Um, the other thing to think about too in, in all of this is if, if maybe you're looking at this going, I don't think I can take this on, but you know someone who'd be great and they aren't here today to get answers to their own questions, you can actually, if you fill out the, the encouragement form, they get an, an email just saying, hey, here's what you need to know. I, you know. I think you'd be great. So you can also encourage. Also, this is a great way to pick the people you work with. Um, you know, because you're like, oh, I, I'm going to run. Why don't you run? And then we'll run together. And then we can, you know, walk over to the meetings and go to lunch afterwards, whatever it is. Right. And it's a good excuse to, to connect. So. Julie, why have we never gone to lunch? I don't know, Tim, maybe it's because you've been over in Brigham too long. Hey, you guys have like three meetings left. Nope, two meetings left. Let's 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 see this. I want to hear about plans next time. Okay, I'm coming over. We're gonna do it. Yeah. Um, Ray, thank you for dropping the link to the declare your candidacy. 
Your moment has arrived. If you've been sitting on the fence this whole time and you are ready, it is time to take your leap of faith, become USU heroes, join the Pantheon. That just got so Hercules so fast. But literally, the link is in the chat. Please join us. We'd absolutely be thrilled to have you. Don't make me use a Music Man reference. Please don't. And all of your meetings will be just like this for the for a whole year. It's going to be great. Don't tell them that. They'll never come back. I can't help myself. They've never had a more fun meeting, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> we did have a really great ender the other day with the three amigos talking about the definition of plethora. It was great. So, like, bring it. Please bring your princess brides. Please bring your... Uh, I want to be where the people are. Just bring them all. Okay. If there aren't any other questions, um, or if you come up with them later, as soon as we end this meeting, please feel free to send us, Slack us, email us, reach out. We would love to answer your questions. We'd love to support you in this fantastic endeavor of being representative for the staff, um, sharing what your coworkers are saying, sharing where you're coming from and how you would like USU to be a very nurturing and fantastic cultivating place for staff. Thank you all for attending today. And we will see you hopefully at, in our board meeting come July, because that would be fantastic, y'all. Okay, bye. Okay,